Yo, this is ZZ and today I will show you how to update your newer PlayStation Portable like PlayStation Portable 3000, PSP Go and PSP E1000 which seems to be Europe exclusive to the nearest custom firmware. The pre installed version on my PlayStation Portable Go is the version 6.10. What we want in Custom Farmer, so we have to update it. At first, visit the page zetalot.net and search for the 6.60 LME. Should be enough to find it. Then we will grab the Custom Farmer 6.60 LME 1.8 and the Lightspeed Final, which is exclusive for the 6.39 and 6.60 LME custom firmware. We'll grab both and then we'll continue to the page mediafire.com slash OFWS. There are all the original firmwares for the PlayStation Portable and we'll grab the 6.60 for the PlayStation Portable Go. I've already did the it, so there you go, 6.60 LME, Lightspeed Final and Original Farmer 6.60 for the PlayStation Portable Go. Then we'll connect the PlayStation Portable with the computer. If you're using a PlayStation Portable 3000, E1000 or the PlayStation Portable 2000 with the TA88 version 3 motherboard, grab the, ori the normal original firmware 6.60, not the Go version. Now we will click on the PSP folder and drag and drop it onto the P PSP Go, which is located on the computer. Now the same with the light speed, grab the PSP folder and drag and drop it onto the PSP symbol on computer. And the last one, grab the PSP folder and drag and drop it onto the PSP Go. When it's done, back to the PSP. Now we should have four things under game, which is the LME installer, the LME launcher, the Lightspeed final, and the PSP update version 6.60. Now we'll launch the version 6.60 and we'll install the original firmware 6.60 onto our PSP Go. We are using the version 6.60 because there is no higher version, so there is no 6.61 or 6.70. So we will have the newest firmware for our PlayStation Portable and we will have it as a custom firmware. So we will be able to play every game. This will need some time to install the firmware. I don't know if you can hear it, but outside it's very stormy and it rains like cats and dogs.
Okay, half done. We are using the version 6.60 and the light custom firmware LME 1.8 because it's, in my opinion, the best custom firmware for every PlayStation Portable and it has the uh, best features. It's even better than the M33 custom firmware which was previously the best custom firmware. But now it's outdated so we will, we will use the LME custom firmware. Okay, 84%. Now it should skip to 100. And then we're done. Okay, it won't skip. On other PlayStation Portables it will skip after 84%. Very interesting, the Bluetooth LED is flashing. Okay, it skipped from 88%, my fault. Now press X to reboot and it will reboot into the version 6.60. version 6.60. Now we will install the custom firmware. At first we have to launch the LME installer for 6.60. Light Custom Firmware 6.60 Installer by Nullron. Press X to install modules. OK. Now it's flashing some files and the PSP will reboot. Since it doesn't reboot into the Custom Firmware, we have to launch it. And you can guess for launching the light custom firmware is a launcher LME launcher for 6.60 check the corner the upper left corner it will show some information and then the PSP will reboot into the custom firmware Six point six O LME one point eight. Now we are come to the light speed. At first, some games. So the custom firmware is running. Now we will install the light speed, which is recommended. Lightspeed was made by a good friend of mine and myself. It will install a nice XMB mod which will... well, you will see what it does. Don't be worried, it's safe, it's well tested on every PlayStation Portable, so it will change the digital comics into the launch 6.60 LME otherwise there was the option to install it under music then it would replace the sense me. Now I will 
reset the device so the custom firmware won't be loaded anymore and we'll turn back into the 6.60 original firmware. At the moment there are just four things under game. Well, these aren't needed anymore. But if you want to use some homebrews, emulators and other stuff, there will be tons of stuff in this category. So if you have 20, 30, 40 homebrews and you have to search every time the LME launcher and the PSP shuts down shutdowns. Well, you don't need to do this. Just install Lightspeed, press launch 6.60 LME, and you will see It launches the 6.60 LME custom firmware. No need to search the launcher anymore. No need to have the launcher under game. So if other people are using the PlayStation Portable, they can't access the custom firmware. They don't know about this launch feature. This 6.60 LME custom firmware can launch games as ISO, CSO. Dot .pvp and also psx games. It has also a recovery menu. And tons of other stuff. It's pretty nice custom camera. It's my favorite custom camera. And if you're having a PlayStation Portal 1000 or 2000 important the 2000 must not have the TA88 version 3 motherboard otherwise it will break um, well if you have these PSPs use the 6.60 ME 1.8 it will be a full custom firmware and for every other newer PSP use the 6.60 LME 1.8 it's pretty safe it won't break any PSPs and with the help of Lightspeed it's very easy to launch it. You will be able to use homebrews, plugins, PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation Portable games, and you won't need to carry your UMDs. Well, a bad example was the PlayStation Portable Go, but also working on the PlayStation Portable 3000 and E1000, you don't need to carry your UMDs anymore. Just put your stuff on your memory stick, 